Hello. This is the second video on how to create a model. A three-part model is going to have a definition of an independent variable, which is the input variable, a definition of the output variable or dependent variable, and an equation showing the relationship between them. In the first video, we solved this problem about soccer fields. In this video, I would like to solve this problem about cab fare. The problem states that Metro Taxi charges $1.25 as a pickup fee and $2 per mile traveled. Cecilia's cab fare from the airport to her hotel is $31.25. How many miles did she travel in the cab? You might want to pause the video and think about this problem and understand the problem. In this problem, we also have a relationship between two quantities, the distance traveled and the total charge for the cab. This is another good example of a function. The independent variable is going to be the distance and the charge depends on the distance. That's going to be our output variable. So I'm going to let D stand for the distance traveled. This is going to be our input variable. The output variable is going to be the total cost of the cab. So I'm going to use maybe capital C for that. T equals total cost of the cab. And that's going to be in dollars. Always want to pay attention to our units because that's going to help us keep everything straight. Now the third part of the model is the relationship between C and D. So typically on the left hand side of the equation is going to be your output variable C equals. Now how do we calculate C? We calculate C by taking the $1.25 which you have to pay every time. That's just to get picked up. And then add to it the cost for the distance. Now if you travel one mile it costs an additional $2. 2 miles, 2 times 2 is 4. If you went 10 miles, 10 times 2 would be 20. If you go D miles, it's going to be 2 times D. Now, we don't know what D is, but we do know that 2D plus 1.25 is going to be the total cost. So here are the three parts of our three-part model. Now, to finish this, I'm going to plug in the $31.25. I have to figure out, is that going to go in for D or is it going to go in for C? Since I wrote this down that C is the total cost and I know it's in dollars, 31.25 has to go in for C. Let me plug that in now. Then I have a little bit of algebra subtracting $1.25 and dividing by 2. So we've got D equals 15. Then we come up here to our definition of D and it's the distance traveled. So the answer is 15 miles. Now I'd like to do another example. Water accounts for 50% of a woman's weight. Kimiko weighs 130 pounds. How much of her body weight is water? Pause the video to think about this problem. In this problem, I could use two variables, but I think I'm going to just use one variable, and it's going to stand for the water in the body. Now we're going to go to the equation. Uh, a little tip here, the word of typically means multiplication. So we have 50% of the body equals water. Now, of is going to turn to multiplication. The body um, amount we know, so I'm going to plug that in. And my unknown is the amount of water. So we have 0.5 times 135 equals W. And we just do the arithmetic. So we get W equals 67.5. And we see up here that that's the water in the body. It's in pounds, so we can write the answer. Our final answer is that she has 67.5 pounds of water in her body. In this case, we only needed one variable. Have a great day.